Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Apple's brand new product, the new iPad Pro. So anyway, without further ado, let's get it started. Apple unveiled the new iPad Pro on September 9th, 2015, which was a couple of weeks ago before it launched in the US. Currently, the iPad Pro is the biggest traditional tablet out there right now. The iPad Pro is rocking a 12.9 inches display diagonally, which packs in a much brighter, bigger and most impressive display. The screen is 2732 by 2048 resolution, and that's much more than a 15 inches Retina MacBook Pro. More than a quad HD display, of course. So the display is, of course, super sharp and bright. The iPad Pro also comes with the stereo audio speakers on both the sides and because of the bigger size of the iPad Pro it also now comes with a much bigger 10,300 mAh battery that should last long the chipboard on the iPad Pro is Apple's latest A9X chip which is an absolute beast alongside packs in with the 4 gigs of RAM and of course the benchmarks of the charts with its 64-bit architecture everything is pretty much smooth you can edit three streams of full 4k video at the same time and still handle it like super smooth. Multitasking seemed to work great, especially on this bigger display. Alongside the new iPad Pro, Apple also unveiled its first party accessories, the smart keyboard and the Apple Pencil. The iPad Pro is the first and the only Apple product with a new little connector on its side called the Smart Connector. Apple has also introduced its Smart Connector accessories, the Smart Keyboard. The smart keyboard basically folds like a case and uses the same key style as the MacBook. No built-in backlit and no battery in this guy. And it automatically connects with the iPad when we just snap it in its smart connect. And Apple is selling the smart keyboard for $170, which is, I don't know. And a second accessory is the all-new Apple Pencil, which is gonna cost you another $100 along with the iPad Pro. The Apple Pencil is basically pressure sensitive and tilt sensitive, so it can both ride with it or shade with it. And of course, it automatically pairs with the iPad Pro. The Apple Pencil has its own battery and it charges it by plugging it in your iPad Pro. If you ask me, which is a pretty easy way to break it. So basically the iPad Pro is a beast for media consumption, for reading news or watching videos or playing games with its incredible display. Everything is enhanced in this iPad Pro as you would expect from its bigger size. It is a little bit heavy to hold with a 1.75 pounds and also a little bit expensive starting at 800 bucks. And you have to get a thousand dollars, 128 gigs for the LTE version. And for people out there who loves the idea of bigger and portable display, this one is much bigger and better in every possible dimension. The weight of the iPad is spread evenly throughout, so it isn't that heavy, but still. The distance between the icons on the iPad Pro is more pixels wide than the entire screen of the original iPhone. So anyway, there you have it. This is my initial review of the Apple's brand new iPad Pro. And of course, it's not yet launched in India. I hope I'll get my hands on all of it ASAP. So anyway, thanks for watching my video, guys. If you really liked the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And don't forget to subscribe for more cool videos. I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out. The basic principle of a problem is having the problem, admitting the problem, getting better about it, and then finally not doing it ever again. All right, so the number one thing would be junk foods. It's like I'm super addicted to pizzas and all the other junk foods and Diet Cokes and Pepsis. I don't really know if it's good or bad for me, but I have a feeling that it's kind of bad.